All right, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to change this domain. We want to add our own custom domain. Or you can just leave it there if that's what you want, right? So what we want to do to do that is go to AWS. And let's just uh, go to services. And you want to go to route 53. All right, and I already have a domain, so just go to your domain provider and you'll need to add the name servers. So we already did this in a previous tutorial, but I'm just going to do it again. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to Route 53. You want to go where it says um, create, where is it? It's register. Well, no, it's not register a domain. You want to go where it says hosted zones. Yes unless you're using a domain that you that you bought on AWS then you'll go to register domain there and it will do it it's going to do it automatically so this is the one that I have registered for my uh, personal website so you want to go where it says create hosted zone and here you want to type uh, your domain right so I'm using a custom domain and then we'll just say it's a public hosted zone just say create And then you'll get this, uh, you'll get the name servers that AWS provides or the Amazon provides. So what you want to do is um, yeah, just select this one, I guess. And then just copy all of these name servers and then go to your domain provider and then add the custom uh, name servers. So the ones, uh, so you want to change the ones, you just want to add custom domain servers. So you'll do that for all of them. All right, so once you have added them, just click on save, and then it's gonna tell you that's gonna take some time to, to take effect. All right, so after you do that, you wanna, let's close this. All right, so now you wanna go to, you wanna get a certificate. So you wanna go to certificate manager, and you wanna request a certificate. So this is so that you get the, you know, the SSL and the TLS certificate from Amazon. So go to next and then here just type your domain. So star winning com, and then you want to add also the www that and then the name of your domain and then same thing. All right. And then you want to say DNS validation. So that's going to check, uh, check for the name servers. It says there are no certificates in oh something that I so this is a good thing. So as you can see it says uh you know there are no certificates and all of that and I'm on this region which is the east one region. But where I deployed my app was on the east two region. So just make sure that the region is in accordance to where you deployed. In my case I was uh, doing the wrong one. I want to use this one. So one thing that I want to do now is let me just uh, delete this one that I just created and then go to the to the right region and, and do it. So let's just delete this. All right, so it's it's been deleted. You want to go to the to the correct region. I already have one which is for my blog. And now um let's just request another one. And let's do the same thing that we just did. Request one more time and and now just go to view certificate and then you'll get this. And it's gonna say that's you know pending validation and all of that. All right, so after you have uh, requested a certificate, you want to see the certificate. It's going to say that's, you know, pending validation. You want to go here and you want to go where it says create records in Route 53. And then just say yes, create records. And then it's going to, this is going to appear. So then you want to go to API Gateway. And then you're gonna see that you know this is the environment that we created, the the one that was uh, created by Zappa. So you want to click there, and then you want to go to custom domain names. And here we're gonna create uh, the domain names for our website. So 
we'll just do one for this and one for this, but, but like for our new website. So one for the one that just has the domain and one that has the www. So here, same thing. Yeah, I don't think you had to type it before. Anyways, um, we're saying regional just because um, that's where our certificate appears. And that's because we deploy on this region. But if you, well, there, you can also do this one, but then you'll have to deploy on a different region. So one that's a global one. And I might do um, a tutorial about that. I don't know yet, but um, for now, we'll just say regional and then select our certificate here. And then go where it says create domain. I don't know if you can see it here. Let uh, here. So you just go where it says create domain, domain name. And then it will say that, you know, it was successfully created. Go again to where it says create. And now just say www.startwinningbot.com. Select the same certificate and then just say create domain name again. That's just too many requests. All right. You have to give it a second. Let's see if it works now. All right. Just keep saying that. Let's just uh, go back to custom domain names for now. Select the, the one that you just created. Go to API uh, mappings. Go to configure API mappings. Add new mapping API. Select the one that uh, for your web app. The stage is dev. And then just click save. And this is so that, you know, the API propagates. All right, go back to, so now let's just try to create it again. So go to create, start, come, select the certificate, create domain name. So now it's been created and let's do the same thing. Go to API mappings, configure the API mapping. and save it. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to go to, you can go to route 53 and you'll see that, uh, let's go here. All right, if you come to route 53 again, go to hosted zones and then um, just choose your domain and now you have, you see that we have two more records. We need to create two more. So go to create record. And once again, uh, here, we're just going to leave that one empty because it already has our domain name and just route traffic. So just leave this the way it is. And where it says value, just select alias and choose endpoint. Go to API gateway API, the region. Well, the region is uh, East two. And then the endpoint, it's gonna appear here. So just select that one and then go and create a record. All right, so do the same thing, but this time add the www, one too many. And then just value endpoint, just the same thing. Now say create record. All right, now we have six records, which is what we need. And if you go to the certificate manager, you will see that uh, our certificate got approved. And as you can see, our certificate has been approved, has been issued. And now you wanna go to the certificate and you wanna copy this, the ARN. So what you wanna do is go back to Visual Studio, go to your Zappa settings, and below this one, comma, and then just, uh, we'll add these two fields here. And here we're just gonna have the certificate ARN and the domain here. All right. So what you wanna do is go to, um, just copy the ARN, go back to Visual Studio and then just paste it here. And then um, just fix this here. And for the domain, same thing. Just wanna write the domain, star winning, but.com. All right, so now we're just gonna save these setting files 
we're gonna go back to the command line here and we're gonna issue the command zappa update dev and that's just gonna uh, you know update our files here all right so let's just give it a second and now we should uh, have our custom domain after all of the, all of this is done so after we've deployed you can see here our custom domain so we can use both I guess so this is the domain that Amazon gives you but this is the one that we just uh, it's our custom domain so like if you command click on it well it's gonna tell you you know it's it's not an allowed host it's something that I forgot so just go back to settings at py and this should be the last thing that we do start winning but dot com and we also want to add the www.starwinningbot.com so when we want to add both of them and once again we have to do zap app day dev all right so let's see let's give it a try once again and see if it worked all right so let's just click here and it should take you to the home page of the web app that we just deployed using Zappa. As you can see we have our website, we have our custom domain. The styling is not great but you can uh, once again just host your static files uh, using a different service or you can use an S3 bucket. So uh, that's how you use Zappa to, to go serverless to deploy your own website. Uh, adding a custom domain using AWS. So if this tutorial was helpful just uh, uh, leave any questions in the comments, uh, subscribe, uh, give it a like, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.